Okay, so uh, for the base, I'm using a cardboard box uh, I found outside, but you could use uh, styrofoam or even um, a wooden plank. So to get started, you have to draw a vertical line, okay, like this, um, and then you measure 10 centimeters. Okay, you measure 10 centimeters and you draw a line. Then another 10 centimeters and another line, and so on until we get to the end. Um, now for our US people, um, that's 3.94 inches. Now, of course you could change that in the code, but the code that I have linked below um, works on 10 centimeter increments. So every 10 centimeters, it gives a different uh, note. Okay, let's now connect the LEDs. So we'll need to connect seven different LEDs for each one of the nodes, for C, D, E, and so on. Now, because it's a big piano, we'll need jump wires to kind of funnel the LEDs to the board. So the jump wires that came with the kit, with my kit, are just way too small. Uh, but I did see online that you could order long jump wires. But I did not have that, so I just kind of went to the hardware store and bought uh, the cheapest electrical wire I could find. Um, so, okay, let me show you how to connect it. But before I do that, I just want to give a reminder about the LEDs. On, um, on the LEDs, there's two different legs, a long one and a shorter one. The long one is the positive, and that is usually connected to the pin. The short one is ground and the negative leg, and that is connected to ground. So when you connect the LED, just remember what goes where because it will, it will change where the jump wire goes, to what pin. Okay, let's connect it. So I'm connecting the long one here and the short one here. Okay, just like that. It just has to kind of be in. Um, then I'm going to take some electrical wire and put on it just to kind of to, to keep it in. Okay, now at the other end, I am going to take two jump wires that came with the board and just kind of push them in. Great. And once I have a, uh, a full LED wire connected, I will go to the board, funnel it in from the bottom, and this is in the hole I made in the cardboard. Okay. Now take the two ends. Okay, this one is the positive, okay, or the long leg of the LED, and that will go into the pin 13 because we're dealing with node number C. And the negative one, I'll just ground it, okay? So in our case, that goes here. Okay, but for the rest of them, you could just kind of look at the diagram I've connected below, and you could just follow that, and everything should work as it's supposed to. Okay, just a quick reminder, um, when you connect the LEDs, you should use resistors. Um, if you do not, your LED will burn. So you could check the diagram to show exactly how I did it, but each LED needs a resistor, okay? I'm using a 220 ohm one, which is pretty standard, but you know, you could do whatever you want. Um, but just remember to put them, if not, it could cause you problems. Connect the ultrasonic sensor. So to do that, we'll take uh, four different um, jump wires, funnel them in from the bottom to the top, okay? Have them kind of sticking out like that, okay? Then connect um, four of them to the four different legs of the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so once we have that, um, you'll connect your electrical wire to the jump wires, and you'll do that the same way you've done it with the um, um, with the lead. As you can see, you have like just a little um, a little leg there, and you'll just stick it in. Okay, and you'll do that to all four of them. Okay, now you'll go to the other end and connect another four um, jump wires, and connect these to their appropriate pins. So let's just do that quickly. So the green will be the ground. So let's connect green to ground. Okay, and then. The blue, um, let's just check, is the echo, right? And the echo goes on pin three, I'm seeing, okay? And then we have the purple, which is this one, which is the white. And the purple is the trig, goes on to pin four, okay? And then the last one is power. So we'll just connect it into power. And that's it, we're good to go. 
to finish off the project, we have the buzzer. Now, I'm gonna use here a passive buzzer, not an active, there's two types of buzzers. An active buzzer, which only gives one tone. Okay, so it's connected to the five volts and it gives one tone. We don't want that, we wanna make different notes. So we're gonna use a passive buzzer. A passive buzzer has two different inputs. One goes to the pin, in our case it's pin number two, and then the other one goes to ground. Okay, it does not matter which one goes where, just one needs to go to the pin, in our case pin number two, and one goes to the ground. Now, the way it works is that it's always getting a uh, five volt input, just for different notes, it's gonna turn on and off, electricity's gonna turn on and off different amount of times. All right, so let's say you want a certain note, oh, if it turns on and off, or it's frequency, let's say 400, so it turns on and off 400 times a second, then it will give a certain tone. 